City, Cap City, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy. I swear, I hope this queen is straight. I swear I do. Uh, I'm remodeling. <laughs> so, uh, just bear with me. Uh, but I still got to get the messages out to you. So, this is the Capricorn March 2022 Silent Enemies reading. I hope all is well in the land of Cap City. Thank you guys so much for all the continued love and support your show. For those of you who are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that, uh, subscription button that way uh we'll be able to pick up on some of your energy and uh pull some cards and see what the universe has in store or what they want you to know okay or be aware of with the silent enemies reading this is all about paying attention to your intuitive nudges so this is about what the universe wants you to be aware of and how the universe will let you know that uh it's trying to reach out to you you know we all have uh People who are around us that we deal with on a regular basis, well, most of us do, family members, friends, lovers, your children, you know, your landlord, <laughs> your tenant, uh, your, you know, uh, your, uh, your barber, you know, whoever you deal with on a regular basis, they're in your energy. These people you uh, connect with, you have a rapport with. Well, sometimes your intuition will go off in reference to uh, something that one of these people may have said or done. And... Uh, if you feel that it is something that's consistent and it's not right, you may want to investigate it. Uh, it could be worst case scenario that you may need to be there for a friend that could be going through something. You inquire about what you felt or the vibe you got and they may tell you, hey, yeah, I'm going through some things and, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to work it out. Or, you know, it could be worse. They could be on some, I don't know what you're talking about, but yet you know something's up. That way, you know, you know to be on guard, you know, because the people closest to us have the most access to us and they're the ones who could potentially bring us the most harm. So we just need to be careful and pay attention to our intuition because there could be things going on that we can't physically touch or physically see, but the energy for those things to go into motion or to come into play are there, all right? even before anybody takes action. So that's what your intuition is there to warn you about, right? Because that's your gauge on the things you can't see. Your gauge on the things you can see are your eyes. You know, the, your gauge on the things you can touch are your hands. But energies that are around that you can't see and touch, that go beyond the scope of sight and vision and, 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 and touch, that's what intuition is for. So let me get one more card. one too many <laughs> so i'm gonna look at each card individually um and tell you the energies i get off them but uh just keep in mind that um these uh energies or these they can all intermingle maybe only one will resonate maybe two will maybe all will but just take what does leave the rest don't try to make this fit it's a collective read if you want a personal with your energy reach out to me my information's in the box below the first card here is the Six of Swords. It came out in reverse. The second sword uh, card, the second sword, the second card I'm going to talk about is the Nine of Wands that came out in reverse as well. And then we have the, the King of Wands also came out in reverse. Who had the King of Wands in reverse? Sagittarius did, okay? So uh, you could be a uh, Sag Capricorn. I swear it was Sagittarius. Uh... Anyway, it, yeah, it was Sagittarius. So watch, if you are a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cusper, uh, check out the Sag uh, reading and see if it resonates. Let's start with the Six of Swords in reverse. Um, so with this Six of Swords energy here, this is, uh, I feel like this is somebody not listening to um, reason or logic. You know, swords represent logic, logical thoughts, logical uh, reasoning. And logical thoughts, logical reasoning, they have nothing to do with feelings and emotions. They are devout of feeling and emotion. That's the energy of Mercury, right? Uh, or Uranus. Well, Uranus acts out in rebellion against things. But uh, that's what rules Aquarius. And, of course, this is Six of Swords, so that's Aquarius. Um, but I just feel like somebody's not listening to logic and reason somebody's they're acting out of emotion um and this could be you or it could be somebody around you so you may want to um if you're getting a vibe about that with somebody you may want to investigate just pay more attention to what's going on um if this is for you this could be you not taking uh action 
for some reason not moving forward, not moving on, but staying stagnant uh, in an energy of confusion. Now, it could be that somebody has you in this energy and you're trying to get out. Because to me, that's what the Six of Swords in reverse could represent too. You're trying to get out of that energy. You're like, you know, it's not right. <clears throat> but this person has some type of hold on you still. Like you're slowly weaning yourself away. That's what I get for some of you. Or this person could be doing that to you. They're slowly weaning themselves away from you. Um, and maybe you sense that. Uh, so I get that strongly. Now, with the Six of Sword energy in reverse, um, to me, this reverts back to, a, like I said, a Five of Sword energy. So there's conflict and confusion here. Okay, whether it's internally within you in reference to uh, making some type of move or uh, leaving a certain situation that no longer serves you, but you're still attached to it in some way, shape, or form. Um, or this is an energy of somebody around you who is trying to keep you um, from moving forward or moving away from them. Okay? Somebody may not want you to uh, make a logical decision, so they could be keeping information from you to keep you confused. Uh, be careful of that, too, because you know how it is. You ever been around people, you know, sometimes people will ask you questions that they already know the answer to. They just could be just wanting to see what you are going to say. I feel like it's one of those type of things here where somebody knows something. They're just trying to see what you know to keep you, um, you know, to try to keep ten toes ahead of you. Um, so I would be careful with that. Yeah, but as far as your mindset, you're still stuck on something. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so with this Nine of Wands energy in reverse, uh, this is uh, energy of somebody giving up. For some of you, you're trying to get away from something. And the universe is telling you not to give up. You may feel trapped in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, because then here's the King of Wands energy in reverse. Like, this is somebody who's afraid of something. What are you afraid of? Are you dealing with someone who's physically violent towards you and you're, you can't defend yourself and you can't get away from this person? If it's not, you know, a physical thing, it could just be a sexual thing. Because with the King of Wands energy here, you know, this is a very strong, toxic sexual energy. That's Leo energy. Um, <clears throat> you know, this could be you having sex with someone against your will, not wanting to deal with this person. This person could be coming on to you. Uh, I don't know why I'm picking all this up, Capricorn. It could be a man or a woman coming on to you. Maybe you're not interested in them or they're coming on a little bit of aggressive. They may have a rapey vibe to them. Like, you know, there's some type of sexual... You ever dealt with somebody and you know there was some type of sexual abuse that this person may have experienced, whether in childhood or adulthood, something, you know, you know, you ever get that vibe with somebody? Well, you know, I'm Scorpio. I got a lot of Scorpio energy. So I, you know, sometimes I pick those energies up with people not, and I don't even have to be in, intimate with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this could be an energy that you could be picking up. You know, maybe you know something is weird about this person, you know, um, maybe because they're very sexual. This is somebody who's always trying to get your defenses down and trying to get you to, you know, be intimate with them. That's what I get for some of you. But for others of you, I feel like there's something that you're not standing your ground on. You're not speaking up about. Um, I don't know if you're because, uh, you know, Leo deals with the heart. You know, that's having courage and the spine, having backbone. You know, uh, standing your ground. That's what the strength energy is, being able to uh, stand your ground and control your emotions and keep and maintain your composure, right? In any type of scenario or situation. I feel like with this uh, energy here in reverse, this is an energy of someone cowering to someone or being afraid of someone, or you could just be in your sexual energy, okay? Some of you could just be horny. And you don't know what to do with this energy. Uh, so uh, you need to be careful sleeping with people without condoms. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and all that could come with that. But also, you know, just make sure you're not out here random doing randoms. You know, if you can, see if you can, you know, maintain some type of connection with somebody. Um, but I mean, I can't tell you what to do. But I just, I don't like the energy here of this. You know, um, this is to me, again, be careful of sexual assault. Okay, um, 
somebody may feel like uh, there's nothing that you can do or you may feel this way. There's nowhere you can go. Um, if this is the case, for some of you, you should reach out to family members, um, you know, um, friends, somebody. You need to reach out to somebody and let somebody know what's up, right? If you're feeling at all like, you know, you're in a situation where you're being abused physically or sexually. Um, <clears throat> but I don't I don't like this King of Wands energy in reverse. I don't like it at all. And, you know, because this is either this is somebody who's scared of something or who's not standing up to someone, or not standing their ground, or this is a whole nother seed, this is a whole nother energy, this is a pervert, uh, somebody who's a rapist, somebody who uh, sexually assaults women, could be, uh, this is also somebody who might be hiding their sexuality, this could be somebody who likes to date the same sex, and this may be somebody who's conflicted about this, uh, if they're not conflicted about it, <clears throat> well, somebody could be conflicted about it. They don't know why they keep having these thoughts is what I'm getting to. Somebody may have experienced some type of abuse uh, growing up as a child. Maybe they don't remember. Maybe they blocked it out or maybe some type of energy was done to them where they <clears throat> they just don't remember it, but they still feel the, uh, the uh, side effects or after effects of it. And that could be something that somebody is dealing with. Wow, that was deep. I didn't even expect to get into it like that, Capricorn. Uh, but I do feel someone needs to be careful not wearing a condom. Somebody could be trying to, you know, impregnate you or get pregnant by you. So make sure you strap up. Because I am picking up some heavy sexual energy here. Somebody could just be stuck on you as well. You know, um, as far as, you know, you fit the bill for somebody's sexual desires. All right, or um, you could be stuck on someone sexually and not able to move on, or this person is not going to try to let. They, if you try to move on, they're not having it. Someone is not. Someone's refusing to let you go. Is what I get for some of you. Ooh, um, Capricorn. I don't know where all this came from. Oh, okay. Um. Mm. But yeah, there's definitely an energy of somebody who could be tapping into their, their fetishes or their desires. You need to be careful of doing that, uh, whatever it is, because it could be something that you could get caught. Or somebody's tapping into their, their, their desires. I don't know what this is, but some, some of it is not. Some of it is perverted, and somebody might get caught out there. Um, somebody might blink out. You know, I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Uh, all right, um, I'm really trying to move away from all of that. What else is going on here? But yeah, I do see I do see someone who's questioning. Uh, they may not be questioning their sexuality. They just might be conf Some of them are confused. Somebody's out here confused because they may have had some type of uh, childhood sexual abuse. So they're confused about sexuality. They're confused about why they're attracted to the same sex. Um, for others... You could be dealing with somebody who is attracted to the same sex and they could be having these conflicted feelings within them. You, if you're dealing with them, you may get a weird vibe about them, something strange about them. Um, like I said, a very strange sexual energy about them. Um, and I can't put that into um, words, what that, what that feels like. But you, I'm sure, you know, if you've lived life, <laughs> you have ran into one or two people who just give you a, a really like, yo, let me move away from this person because I don't know what the hell that was, but I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I've experienced that on a few occasions. I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this person's energy, but I am out of here. I don't like it. I don't want to know. I don't want to talk about it. I'm out. And I've done that on more than one occasion. People who was with me looked at me like I was crazy. We were in public environments, you know. And um, I remember one or two people coming into, you know, um, into the area where I was, you know, maybe talking to someone else or even trying to speak to me. And their energy was just so off. I'm like, you know, I'd excuse myself. I, I, mm -mm. So, you know, it could be that type of energy here that you're feeling about somebody. Somebody could be mentally confused. Okay, and they could be afraid to speak up about it because they maybe they feel that they would be defenseless. There's no one who could defend them. There's no one who could help them. Oh, man. Be careful who you're dealing with. I don't know what's up with this. 
but there's also just, just in general somebody's afraid to stand up for themselves or stand up for something um they could be allowing something to go down capricorn what leo where's leo at for you it's your seventh house i mean it's your eighth house right isn't it your eighth house because your opposite polarity is cancer and then right after cancer comes leo your cancer is your seventh house yeah so it's your eighth house So yeah, this is some type of sexual, something sexual, or somebody just afraid too, all right? Uh, but um, let's go to extended and get some clarity on these things um, and see what comes out. I'm going to pull four cards for each, and we'll go into it a little bit deeper here, see what other messages um, your guides may have for you in reference to this. That was just what I was picking up intuitively. And it is the full moon in Virgo, so I don't know if that, that had anything to do with it. All right, but uh, we'll go to the extended. So if this resonated with you or someone you know, please feel free to uh, click that like button. And if you would like to leave a comment about how it resonates, please feel free to do so. If you don't want to get into it specifically, but it does resonate, just leave me an emoji then. But I ask that you do click the like button to help with the algorithms for the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. If you need a personal, my information is in the box below, and that's where you will find the link to the extended. So I will see you in the extended, hopefully. If not, I'll check you out in the next reading. Later, Cap City.